now we enjoy like different levels of spices as well. It's okay. like before I would like oh, I can't eat it. Hi, I'm Meg, executive producer at Nashville Public Television. And on this series, we talk about the little things that stood out to people when they first moved to the region from another country. So today, I'm here with Tassin. Tassin moved to Nashville, Tennessee from Hyderabad, India. She lives here with her husband and three beautiful children. She's a high school math teacher. And one of her favorite parts of the day is the early morning and the sunrises and breakfasts that come with them. And that's what I wanted to start off talking with you about, actually, is food. Mm -hmm. um, and so when you first moved here, what stood out to you about the food? And, and was it different? I'm guessing yes. <laughs> here in India, and how so? I did not enjoy anything I ate. No. I did not. Yeah, it was just not that I missed Indian food, uh -huh. but I wanted my mom's hand-cooked food. That's all oh. I wanted. So it was like, even if I cooked, because I wasn't, I didn't cook much back home, right? I started after I came here. Yeah. I didn't enjoy anything even if I cooked. So it took me a while. It took me a while to get used to eating food here, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, and, and so we're here today in Nashville in the House of Kebab, and that was a place that you mentioned that was one that you found, you were like, oh, I do like this place. <laughs> yes. So why is that? Yes. What, what stood out? So uh, I would say House of Kebab was one of those places where, or like when we started enjoying food outside of home cooked food. Yeah. So there was something special about this place, something other than food that made us feel very comfortable. Yeah. Um, this place was always very uh, family friendly. Mm -hmm. So my, my husband and I came here with our newborn babies mm -hmm. and um, we came here just a few weeks ago again with huh? um, for celebrating one of our newborns 19th birthday okay so uh, now this place is like special to them because this restaurant is our holds memories of their home now yeah. because they call Nashville their home mm -hmm. so this place is special to them now because yeah. you said you were like well pick whatever restaurant you want to go to yeah. and this was yeah and this, this is the, the one you picked because <laughs> I, I think it's more more than food like they have so many memories of this place yeah. like you know they remember coming here like growing up and every time okay let's just go there yeah and what about the spiciness level um, in that you can find here in Nashville compared to what you can find back home. Oh, back home is like very spicy. I would say uh, we've cut down our spice level too. So yeah. if, on a scale of ten, I could say we're about seven. That's your, like your preferred. You, yeah. So you still yeah. that's pretty spicy still probably. Right. But I should say like now we enjoy like different levels of spices as well. It's okay. Like before I would like oh, I can't eat it. But now it's like we do enjoy different levels also. If it's a little bit less, we're okay with so it. So is there yeah. even a, a place in Nashville where I could get a 10 or no? Um, I, I have seen one actually in uh, you know some of the newer restaurants, oh. like back in, uh, over in Brentwood and Cool Springs areas. There's, okay. there's one restaurant called Amravati. I remember eating some uh, something over there. We're like, oh, this is really spicy. Uh -huh. So, and they said it was medium spicy. So I found it spicy. I was like, okay, okay they have a good spice level. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So either your tongue's getting used to you yeah, know, yeah, U.S. spices or, or what's right. Spicy. <laughs> well, and so apart from food, some other things that we talked about were just kind of interactions and other cultural differences that you noticed. And one thing that I thought was really interesting is you said in India it was more common for friends or I guess family yeah. members too to just show up to your house mm -hmm. and not plan it ahead of time. Right. So when did you notice that that wasn't something that people do in Nashville or other cities you've lived in in the yeah. US? To begin with, I didn't have uh, family around here. So it okay. took me some time till I made friends and met families to yeah. realize that. But uh, it was not too long before I saw the difference. Because, I mean, over there it's like really common. It's like very frequent. Yeah. So over here, first of all, I didn't have family. But to just see that, okay, you have to call, you have to uh -huh. ask, you have to text or do something. It was pretty obvious, I guess, uh, yeah. then I understood the difference, yeah. Well, because how was it, you know, just in your hometown, though, you're just like, hey, I want to go see my friend. I'm going yeah. over. And then yeah. you just, just whenever you... Yeah, okay. family, yeah. And family can drop in any time. Oh, it anytime. could be even in the middle of the night. So you cannot, you cannot oh. complain. Nope. Well, now <laughs> family is family. Yeah. Do people strategically do it and go over to someone's house when they're about to eat because they might get invited to dinner? Is that... No, no, they actually avoid that so that they, oh, they don't avoid put... That. Yeah, I mean, they, so okay. that they don't put burden too much. But it's okay. just against mm -hmm. time. Unless somebody really, really wants to make sure that they meet a certain person in the house, uh, they don't have to call or you know inform them they just Got go it. to meet or check on them and then again even though they don't do it intentionally but 
um, the host always has to make sure that you eat something and go. Oh, so that's also a like, snack. you know, it's, yeah, at least a snack or if it's time for food, yeah, uh -huh. lunch or dinner, they make sure that they serve you something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's really sweet. Well, thank you so much for, for sharing kind of your observations and, and experience, um, just as someone who's thank you. moving a new Nashvilleian. Um, and we will just call it a video so we don't let our food get too cold and just appreciate you all joining us for this conversation. If you'd like to see more in the series, the little things, um, subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Till next time. Next Door Neighbors is made possible by the support of the Nissan Foundation.